I love Superman because he's almost untouchable, right? Bullets fly off him. He can fly wherever he wants. He can see through things, you know, that's kind of Superman. It's, it's got to be the guy. I grew up in Florida and I really was a kind of a beach bum when I was in high school and had this long blonde hair. I surfed a lot. So I was a surfer and I still like to surf. And I, whenever I can, I sneak off to Virginia Beach and when the weather's right and still have a board and I'll surf. I teach financial statement analysis, which is a course that really trains people on how to use accounting information in a way that maps into security prices. Accounting, if you think of it as not, not the green eye shades and debits and credits and you know just how do you do a transaction or write a journal entry, it's really not that. It's about how do you convey information that's useful to somebody who's making a decision about an entity. The people I grew up with still are surprised at what I'm doing now. Like, you? You're an accounting professor? I never would have thought in a million years again I would have been you know, an accountant teaching accounting at a top business school. A recent passion the last year, I like to make pies, fresh fruit pies. So I'll make pies all the time, apple pies, pineapple pies, pumpkin pies, raspberry pies. I eat a piece of pie every day. One advantage we have in teaching accounting is the expectations coming into the course are, are somewhat low because I think people bring into the course that it's gonna be, you know, boring or incredibly difficult or tedious. That's an advantage for us because we have nowhere to go but up in the classroom. Accounting is an exciting and interesting topic. It's not cut and dry. There's a lot of, of complexity around it and judgment, discretion we call it, where people are making choices about how to measure a certain item. There was a fundraising competition across all the sections on who would, which section would raise the most money for some charity. And so I was approached that if that section I was in raised the most money, would I dress up and teach in 70s garb? And so they raised the most money. So I bought a, a 70s style jacket, big fat tie, I put on a wig, I had bell bottom jeans, they put on Saturday Night Fever and I came in and walked into the classroom and taught the entire class and it was a lot of fun. This place lives and breathes the mission of the school, which is really to be excellent and have, have uh, transformational learning experiences to do cutting edge research and then also to influence directly practice. So those kind of three pillars. This place expects you to kind of excel in all three, but it also embraces all three in a way that other schools just don't. And that's what I value the most about being here.